All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the PAL script that plays a liner over a song, whether or not it's um, marked with an intro or not. Someone requested this, and I figured I would make it. Um, it takes a lot of time to go through and listen to songs, determine which songs have the ability to play an intro um, and mark it. So I made this PAL script to where well, you can set how many minutes every so many minutes play an intro over a song uh, and it'll be any song so right now I'm logged into the web script store it's best to be logged in when you're getting th these um, PAL scripts and these media players because if you ever should lose or you ever need the download link you can come to this login page and you can have the system email you the download link all right, so I'm going to go to Power Scripts up here. And I'm going to scroll down until I come to the Power Script that I want, which is this one. This Power Script will play a liner over the intro of any song every 15 minutes without the need of programming each song with an intro. So let's get that. I'm going to add it to the cart. And we're going to check out. I'm already in. Wait a few seconds. Okay. And here's the download link. So I'm going to click on that. The best place to save your PAL scripts or your extra stuff for Sam is in my documents. So I'm going to go over here to documents. I made a folder called Sam Broadcaster Stuff. So that's where I'm going to save that. Okay. So we're done with that. Now what I want to do is I want to extract that. Right click and extract. And there it is. Now let's bring up my Sam Broadcaster. And depending on where you have your power scripts, I got my power scripts here, so I'm going to add that. And I'm also, because this PAL script is a continuously running PAL script, I'm going to select automatically start the script. And let's go to our libraries, documents. And there it is. Okay. Now, in order for this to work, you're going to have to edit it. So let's start off by editing it. When you first get it, it comes pre-populated, but I'm going to change this to, I don't know, whatever I want to. I'm going to call it intro voiceovers. Okay. Intro voiceovers. No spaces bef after it, no spaces before it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to copy this. This is the best way to do it. I'm going to copy that. Okay. And I'm also going to save this. Now I must create that category. I know a lot of people create categories up here in playlists. This is the wrong place to create categories. Say that again this is the wrong place to create categories you must create categories under content because some PAL scripts will work based on what category you place it under I like to put my voiceovers either on the promos or station IDs okay I'm gonna put it under station IDs and it looks like I've already created that let me delete that okay 
and I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna select new and I'm gonna paste what I just did in the file script now I must add some voiceovers into this file script and bear with me while I go and find some voiceovers And I'm just going to grab these. These are the voice overlays. Okay. You must have these in this intro. You must have them in this category. Now, the auxiliary overlay with no intro loads into auxiliary one. So let's just run it to see that it works. It's running. Now you see it loaded in auxiliary one. If this is not happening for you, then there must be something wrong with the way you're typing right here and right here. These must match. And again, I can't stress enough how the category you need to create needs to be under content, not under that playlist. So let's see, we got some stuff in the queue. Let's just get it going. Let me turn it down. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can hear that. It's blasting in my ears. Okay, so it's gonna wait for one track to play. And I'm going to move this up. Okay. Now you saw it run there. You want to make sure that this is pushed all the way up. Okay. And as you can see, it's going to wait 15 minutes from the time it just run before it does it all over again. And that's all you have to do to this auxiliary overlay with no intro.